lights out. My key broke. Badly. How do you even do that? Anyway, better to work. Uh, today's chicken day. I don't know if that'll be on the table very much because I don't think we have as many birds as we normally do. So, uh, get out of the way, dog. I don't know if you can see that silly goose move. There we go. Anyway, try not to run over any of my geese. Anyway, it's chicken day. Uh, might have some freezer work to do. Get some stuff ready for tomorrow. I gotta get supplies for sausage making. Ah, got a podcast tonight. We'll see how everything goes. Wheel. Showed up to work a little bit late because I forgot about traffic. But time to make bacon, so I gotta pull these bellies out of here. So bellies used to take me about 10 days to make bacon, sorry, but we got this vacuum tumbler and now I can do it in two. Huge time saver, but basically, I mean, if you guys want to see more about that, I can make a video about how I make bacon, but uh, let's get these hung in the smoker. Well, I like to use one's little platform here. So I like to set one here as a little base, and then I take bacon, try to make it all straight across this end, get a bacon cone, I'm gonna stab it in like that, shut it through, nice and straight, and I'm making pepper bacon today. So I'm just gonna take pepper, I'm gonna sprinkle it on. There we go. Okay, and then okay. take them and hang them in the smokehouse here. I'm also smoking a bunch of uh, beef bones for dogs, but uh, yeah, we'll get them loaded up. Okay, I take my uh, temperature probe here and I stab it in the thickest part of the thickest belly I can find which we didn't do a whole lot of hogs this week, but uh, you know, sometimes when you're short, <laughs> short staff, short on help, um, you know, you do what you can. We did beef obviously, but you know, not as many hogs. Get that thing shut. Now the nice thing about this machine, is you like the screen of a screen? Uh, load program, I believe bacon's over here. Bacon. That difficult. Cheating, right? Butchering chicken, well, for the most part, there's still packaging and stuff. I here after lunch, I'm headed to the store, go pick up some ingredients to make some sausage. It's a new sausage that I designed about a month ago, came with recipe and all that good stuff. It's a wild rice and mushroom brat, kind of fun, but has a lot of ingredients. So, I am headed to the store, pick those up. That's just sort of an update on how my day's been going. Not a whole lot going on. 
Anyway, I'll see you after a bit. Well, we got some rain north of here for sure. Like, I knew it rained some, but I knew it rained that much. But, uh, yeah, most of the creeks and stuff, even our river's up a little bit. Our river. Like, typically the deepest part of our river is probably an average, of the deep part, it's probably an average about two and a half, three foot deep. Most of the time, like, if you take a kayak down it, <laughs> you're, you're going to be getting out and pulling the kayak fairly frequent, unless you're really good at finding the, the channel. But, anyway, there's another bridge up here that I'll show you. I was going to, but there's some people fishing off of it. I don't want to make it weird for them, so just have to trust me that it ends up. Well, I am home. Thought I'd check on a couple things before I went inside and took a shower. But looks like she's taking the nest pretty well. That's good news. I wanted to check on that for sure. Fantails are nesting again. You guys still have two eggs? Just one. Yep, they got two eggs. They're doing pretty good. It's kind of dark in here. But anyway, some people wanted to see the pigeons, so there's my pair of Indian fantails. I didn't foster them out this time. And the pair of jacks. Hey, turn, buddy. They're kind of cool looking birds. I need to clean your pen out again. Anyway, jacks are doing good. They still haven't hatched anything. Um, they did have a couple fertile eggs, but the chicks didn't make it. They were the weaker ones that I had fostered out. Well, so I'm trying it again. Okay. All right. Now these, these are brand new. These are in a quarantine pen right here. Uh, I don't actually know what that breed is. So if you guys know, no, 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 no. You need to stay in there. Let me know what those are. Kind of interesting. Hopefully they breed and I can get some fun stuff because it's kind of cool colors. Up here in the loft, not not a whole lot has changed. <laughs> I did have a board break and so that's still sitting a little bit wonky. I really need to figure that out and fix it, but I do need to thin out the pigeons in here. I was gonna do that, but the guy that I normally sell them to didn't need any right then. And he's raising a lot of racers right now, so he's really picky about what birds go in, but Thinking about keeping mostly white colors and getting rid of a lot of the more common stuff though. Not sure though. And over here, where they like to hang out more than the other side, there's just, I mean, believe it or not guys, these eat a lot of grain for some reason. Hard to believe, right? But they just keep making more and more and more of them. Anyway, some people wanted to wanted an update on the pigeons. There's really not a whole lot to update, and since I haven't posted, you know, in like a couple of months, uh, I'm not even sure what it would be called an update. So that this is the pigeon loft, in case you guys don't know. And uh, yeah, it's just the upstairs of my barn, and there's a lot of birds in here. They eat and drink a lot, so I'll probably thin them down at some point. But anyway, someone wanted to see it, so I figured I'd show you guys real quick. Um, we'll go through nests and all that stuff another time, though. Hmm? Hey, bud. One of my spare Isabel Kaku uh, Orpington. Dude, will you just go away? He's kind of cool. He's a lot prettier than his daddy is. But uh, he wants me to put more feet out so he can pick it through it for some reason. As I walk past here, I showed you guys yesterday her crappy nest. Um... babies <laughs> well let me go get my bucket now because that is such a terrible spot for a nest i am not gonna re-gift her any eggs this time. she's gonna have to make a whole new nest because that's terrible i mean the bucket has no insulation it has to be hot and look i mean she's got a whole bunch of eggs that she kicked out going in and out what do you have there's two okay I'm curious what color that'll be looks like a black one Another one of those. Dark one. And two more. So she hatched me out six. Yep. All right, six more to go. I said that the hatch could be ridiculous this year. It literally could be a little bit out of control. I, 
I mean, the pigeons are bad enough. They don't eat that much. Ducks, they eat a ton, especially when they start getting bigger. Well, the mob is gonna need uh, out of here soon. Need to add some more fresh bedding. I'll take care of that. But man, they're gonna eat so much food. That's not good. Because there were about twice that many eggs. She's not on the nest. I hope that's not a raccoon thing where my silver mallard eggs fall victim once again. Not cool. Dog, they haven't seen you in a long time. You wanna say hi? Huh? Gonna be friends. This is Dog the Goose, in case you guys don't know who he is. Dog, actually I did not raise this goose. I got him in a trade uh, as an adult and he really likes women. He's okay with me, but like if my wife is around, he will stay in between my wife and me as if, you know, he's very possessive, I should say. He'll try and bite me, chase me away, all sorts of stuff. He'll also get into my wife's vehicle if he can step up that high. But uh, he's a fun old goose, just kind of scares people sometimes. But I went inside, took my shower, got ready for podcasting, and uh, I thought I would show you one more thing and give you a couple ideas of stuff that I have coming up. Uh, I do have a pigeon video that I think you guys are going to love. Just got to get it all set down and get a time to actually do it. But I'm pretty excited about it. It should be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, stay tuned for that one. should be coming up probably next week sometime, I would imagine, if everything goes right. But the one thing that I didn't show you guys yesterday that I want to show you is this pen right here. So, wood ducks. I have <laughs> a backwards trio, and that's because I had to get rid of my mandarin. The man, well, no. When it was really cold, I may have told the story already, I did have two pair, one of the wood ducks I happened to throw into the mallard pen, and mallards did what they do, and she is no longer with us. So I have a single hen who was attracted to the mandarin that I had, and uh, I had to get rid of him because I need her to pair up with one of the wood ducks because mandarins aren't compatible with wood ducks. And I want to show you guys. Yep, she is nesting. Now, last I checked, she had six eggs. I'm not sure if she's gonna stop there. Wood ducks typically have pretty good clutches. Uh, pretty big clutches. She had laid some eggs earlier um, that she abandoned uh, when she was hanging out with that mandarin. So those didn't, you know, produce anything obviously. But I gotta quickly run and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.